This is Teso North Sub County, Busia County in the western region of Kenya. Like their peers in other parts of Kenya, pupils in this region are keen on shaping their destiny through academic empowerment. The improvement of the learning environment for the pupils in this region has been through the utilization of the citizen voice and action approach and Chun CVA CBO members. Citizen voice and action is World Vision's premier approach and methodology to local level advocacy. The approach empowers communities and government to work together to improve basic services that are critical for the well-being of children and their families. Angichun Citizen Voice Action CBO brings together 35 community members, 20 male and 15 female, with a common objective of enhancing and improving basic education service delivery. November 2010, we came together as a team. Forming a CVA team had uh, several objectives. There are a lot of devolved funds here in, 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 in Teso, uh, uh, even in Busia County, that the community is not aware of. Funds like CDF, uh, we have funds like FPE, the Free Primary Education. So we formed this CVA uh, tentatively to ensure that we sensitize our people to know their rights uh, as citizens, their rights as, uh, and obligations as people who are living in that community. Through the CVA approach, Parents, teachers and education officials have joined hands in ensuring proper monitoring education service delivery mechanisms and report sharing platforms on management of schools. We have a CBO that we are working with, it's called Angichun CVA CBO. That is the a group of those CVAs that have been monitoring these schools came together and formed a CBO. Like uh, when we began with this project, we were targeting the most vulnerable schools in terms of infrastructure, in terms of land, in terms of um, capacities of parents, in terms of parent participation. So what we've been doing previously is that uh, the CVS go to a specific school with the tool. We developed a tool together with them. They do the monitoring of that school. After monitoring is done, they come and develop their report. After the report has been developed, they go back to the school and share with the community, that is the parents, the pupils, and even the teachers of that school. Asa mami pesa di CDF wanasema atio pesa ya mbunge. Mbunge anakuja kusema ati mimi ndio nimejenga hii shule. Kumbe ni pesa ya ya CDF na ni pesa ya mwananchi. CDF ni pesa yangu. Sio pesa ya mbunge. Kuna baadhi ya wasasi wajapata information. Naomba tu hii group ya CVA waende chini kabisa waelimishwe. Hata ikiwezekana waenda across the, the, the county. for uh, uh, the children in primary schools in terms of uh, classrooms. Learning now goes on in a comfortable, child-friendly environment. Prior to the coming together of the community members to form Angichun CBO, learning was a painful and often a labored affair with pupils having to brave the element in their quest to gain education. Years of poor governance, lack of transparency in the management of public resources, together with the lack of public participation in management of public schools, led to a sore state of affairs in the public education sector in this region. We were able to identify that even in the ground we have some projects that are just there, but the funds have been actually chewed by some people. These are projects that uh, we can refer as ghost projects because they are not even seen in the ground. We are just seeing in the papers, but when it comes to the ground, we are not able to see them. A working condition matters a lot in education. You cannot perform well when you have no structures. When you don't have structures, don't expect better performance. So I'm encouraged now because at least we can see that there are good, uh, good facilities that are enabling our teachers to work uh, comfortably without any problem. But initially, it was pathetic. We were seated in a round, leaking grass tight house. Because all the learners were seated outside, and I was wondering where I was going to work from. There was no office, there were no classrooms. All children were seated outside.
Because CVA, having been trained by World Vision on different issues of monitoring, how the money is spent down at the grassroots, how the key players in those particular fields manage the funds, constituency development fund, which is normally given to the schools. Actually, it has helped them to enlighten the community to monitor their own issues within the school, to monitor how the money has been spent down there. The CVS have brought uh, actually a lot of sanity because there's also that fear whereby the CVS have been moving to monitor how money has been spent. Actually, somebody somewhere fears. So they'll end up spending the money in an appropriate manner other than actually misusing that, those particular funds. In general, about 78 schools in this area have been targeted for monitoring of service delivery by the community groups themselves. Kaejo, Oburikode, Kusenyi and St. Matthew's Moru are among them. <laughs> there is no any other school which it has been built these classes and our office. It looks very beautiful. Wale wale tujengea darasa tukatoka nje. Mungu awabariki. Antagonism between parents on one side and teachers and school administrators on the other is now an issue that has been effectively addressed. This used to be my office. As the teacher was seated up there, the middle of these stones I had a small stool and a folded chair and my teachers would sit down here. To date, we have uh, six permanent classrooms and one for ECD permanent and well furnished. So two classes were put up by World Vision and the community, then four other classes were put up by CDF. We benefited uh, two classrooms, classrooms from CDF and one classroom from county government. And then uh, World Vision in 2015 added uh, two more classrooms. Since I became the head teacher, I've never seen a school, particularly a primary school, constructed using stone. When I came to this school, the school was infested with jiggers, and uh, the population had shot down to below 200. In total, we have five permanent classrooms. ECD is even now uh, getting so many pupils because the pupils are seeing that the issue of smearing classrooms using cow dung is no more. Training of parents, teachers, administration and education officials under Angurai Citizen Voice Action is largely the reason why pupils are celebrating this academic windfall. We took them through a series of trainings on how they can be able to integrate uh, advocacy into their projects and as a citizen voice and action in this area, they were supposed to go out and bring out the plight of the community members now that they're not able to advocate for themselves. Through the CVA work, we've also been able to do accountability boards in school. Accountability board is where public information is displayed for, the, for all the public. I must say that has really helped the community really accept their school and even you know feel proud of their school because they know that the resources that have been brought to their school have been utilized well and that has even increased or enhanced their participation. Vijijini tumepata information ata saisi mimi kama msasi naesa kujua kwamba devolved fund hiko from the county to the national yo pesa tunajua kama wasasi kuna pesa inaleta shuleni ya FPE Mimi kama msasi ni mwesajua kupitia kwa CVA. Teachers and parents were at loggerheads when the, the CVAs had not come in. They managed even to, to, uh, to sensitize the teachers to construct schools that are child friendly, whereby even those uh, disabled children could now get through the ramps to the classes without problems. All these things we didn't know before. As since the CVS came in, many things have changed. Even the parents' attitude towards the, the education sector has really changed. As a pupils, parents and school management endeavor to shape the young mind's future, a collaboration that exists between the education stakeholders ensures a gradual but steady realization of dreams for the children of this region. 
dreams that will shape the stability of Teso North Sub County, Busia County, and Kenya at large.